right here we are in a beautiful lake havasu city morning handling several cars out of a collection this is a beautiful car all these cars were meant to win trophies and you can drive them too it's a beautiful car it's a 69 camaro uh convertible it's finished in a resto mod or a pro touring style with a lot of high-end components we're going to walk around and tell you like we usually do all about it that kind of thing Takes a little while to get my motor running in the morning, and this one fired right up, though. Anyway, underneath the hood here is a 427 cubic inch V8. It's a limited production engine that GM only made 427 of. Um, this is engine number 17. It comes with a certificate of authenticity, a plaque, that type of thing, and some placards that go on the car as far as that goes. We're going to walk around and tell you what we know, and uh, we spent a lot of time up on the lift with this car, and there's a huge file that comes with this car, so it covers quite a bit. It has a pro touring style suspension in it, it has Art Morris components in uh, a spec built rear, rear section with Kugel suspension in the back. It's got their Sport GT6 up front, a lot of powder coated items that are powder coated to match the wheels on the car. It has uh, up front here, it has 13 inch rotors with six piston calipers. It even has a ZL1 uh, decal on the caliper on the front here. Willwood rotors, Willwood disc. In the back, same thing, disc. Again, Kugel suspension in the rear, quad shock. Just, just stances right and it definitely the kind of car that gives you a feel like you're in a sports car. A lot of subtle things on the body of the car. The windshields Eliminated all the chrome molding on this car. They put Kandigat uh, door handles on it here to give it the sleek feel. It's black sport mirrors. This is an anvil uh, made by anvil. It's a uh, cal induction, steel cal induction hood with the underside support bracing. It's an actual cal induction hood where the air filter meets the uh, uh, bottom of the hood so it brings in its air on the back side here. It's got an anvil uh, header filler panel here which eliminates the vents. It has air conditioning, of course, all the stuff you'd think of when you wanted luxury on top of drive. Up front here, it has RS headlights, driving lights in the front here. It has a uh, anvil carbon fiber. It has carbon fiber inner fender panels. We'll spend some time underneath the hood. It's got a nice wicked feel to it. I like the uh, gunmetal gray hood center. It almost looks like it's bare metal. Z01 emblems on the side of the hood. It's whistle straight, jet black, painted by Sick Customs here in Lake Havasu. We did a lot of the work on it. It's actually like the third generation build. It has 552 miles on it. TKO six-speed transmission. Of course, we get towards the inside. The hits keep coming. We'll share that with you. Eliminated the side markers on both sides. Custom vents up forward here. Give you that 69 feel. The exhaust exits out the rear of the car on the sides here. We'll take you inside a Ron Mangus leather interior. It's finished in a really glove style leather with uh, suede inserts in it and bright red stitching. Fully adjustable seats comfort wise as far as recline that kind of thing. I believe it has a lumbar. That's what this is. It has all LED lighting, LED courtesy lights you'll see here. It has custom vents in the, in the door jams here. Ron Mangus top. We left the top up so you get a feel for the fit. We took a lot of the photos with the top up. You'll see the dash is also leather wrapped with the red stitching. Custom console has a uh, the uh, power window switches are here and the power top switch is here. There's for the five-speed Hurst shifter. There's one of the uh, pieces that comes with the engine. Proof of authenticity. Seat belts, bow tie seat belts, retractable outboards. <laughs> if you haven't heard this run already, you want to hear it run. I just barely swung that. Shuts just fine. The exhaust, the sound out the exhaust is just incredible. Hang on a few and we'll cover that for you. Notice they've removed all the trim off the side of the car. I just mentioned the marker lights. They've done the Kandigat door handles here. They've eliminated the convertible top trim that would have sat on the top here around the back and smoothed all of this. So again, the same kind of feel, this center racing stripe. 
gunmetal feel, almost like a bare metal feel. Soft canvas, power. We'll show you the deck lid here. This is all, typically the factory would have been a bolt-on, but as you look here, this is actually molded into the rear of the car. There's another one of them ZL1 badges. Has uh, sequential tail lights in it. They're cool. There's a section of the video, probably in the opener, you caught it already, but they're fully sequential. Turn signals in the back, just digital's got a nice feel to it. This thing is definitely a uh, magnet for attention, that's for sure. Looking down the side there, again the exhaust. We'll kind of give you a taste of the uh, powder coated Art Morrison uh, Kugel type. A lot of custom stuff on the bottom side of this car. Again, you want to hang on to the end of the video. Same theme goes throughout the car, just subtle performance kind of feel to it. Not overdone, not over blinged, so to speak. You don't see any shiny billet or any of that kind of thing on this car. Has the Anvil uh, carbon fiber door sill entry plates here. Into the back seat, the same stitching, the suede fiber, the vent and the door jam here. Tilt steering column, gunmetal gray knobs, gunmetal gray steering wheel, Budnick steering wheel, tilt column. You can see the LED lights underneath here. Custom pedals that go along with it. This is what turns on and off the, uh, the uh, interior lights. This is the actual uh, emergency brake. It's got an electric emergency brake. German square weave carpet along with the glove soft leather in it. If you've been looking for that just right Pro Tour style Resto Mod Camaro convertible, this baby sweet has vintage air conditioning. You're seeing the controls down there. Right there, climate control style. Uh, upgraded gauges in it, all digital. <laughs> digital analog. 552.4 miles since the time of uh, build and drive. Get out and let you hear it run. We're gonna let you hear it run a couple times. We'll be underneath the hood and let it run. See the bulb gauge is reading, you know, 13 to 15, 13 and a half. Fuel gauge is working. Temp it hasn't even warmed up yet. Oil pressure 60 pounds. It's still a little cold and we already kicked the choke off, but you can hear the cam in this baby. There you go. Impress your friends with this one. Have a great day. Enjoy the ride. Hang on to the end of the video. All right, let's get underneath the hood of this bad boy. Very nice. Just a look under the hood tells you it's just all out performance. It just has a nice subtle performance or masculine feel underneath the hood. Nothing's overdone, but let you know it's serious about business. This is uh, a 427 cubic inch GM crate engine. They were a limited production. They only built 427. This is engine number 17 of 427 produced. All the factory uh, documents come with it, including the plaque. We're going to go through and kind of share with you underneath the hood. And like we said, we, it looks like it's all for business, and it certainly is. This is just uh, beautiful. It has a lot of anvil components. We'll get into the specs and the tranny here in just a minute. Uh, reshaping the past, I think, is their company tagline. So they produce a lot of things for Chevelles and Camaros and that type of thing. So it has a, quite a few of those components. It has the deep well inner fender panels, which are all carbon fiber. It has the carbon fiber fender braces here with the Heim style joints. You'll see the carbon fiber over on this side. So it's got the deep well because of the bigger tires. It has this uh, filler panel here is all carbon fiber. Kind of get a look there in the sunlight. We're filming this in the sun so you kind of get a feel underneath the hood. Has a carbon fiber front spoiler which we've already talked about during the walk around. 
It is a true cal induction hood from them. It's an all steel cal induction hood with a fender brace or with the uh, support on the bottom side. It is a functional cal. So there's a four inch can in air filter with a functional cal uh, gasket there. Straighten that out just a little bit. It's a, uh, like we talked about, 427 cubic inch. Uh, this is a decal that comes with it from the factory. It's hard to get my camera right sometimes. Grand Blanc, Michigan is where it was built. It's a 427 cubic inch, four and a quarter bore, stroke 376, 430 horsepower at uh, 5,800 RPMs, 444 foot pounds of torque at 3,800 RPMs, 10 to one compression ratio, Recommends you run it on 92 octane fuel. I could go on uh, This is just bad to the bone. You've heard it run or you're gonna hear it run more and more as I go throughout the video Because I'm gonna fire it up. Uh, it has an Edelbrock intake manifold on it finished in a gunmetal gray Like a lot of the components on it, it has a uh, Holly performance carb series carburetor on it with electric choke, so it's carbureted Gunmetal gray finishes on the uh, engine now these are all Obviously, uh, custom-built exhaust system on it, ceramic-coated headers, all braided stainless lines, coolant uh, power steering reservoirs right here, braided lines, power steering, high-amp alternator on the front. It's got a RAB or a RAB uh, serpentine belt system, which is really trick. It's got its own tensioner, so it self-tensions itself. Small belt, does a nice wrap. Chrome water pump on the front here. And here you'll get a feel. We're going to actually get it up on the lift for you here. But it has uh, Art Morrison components underneath with Kugel suspension in the rear. Uh, it's got the Sport GT C6 front suspension. Air, all the components are polished. Uh, or, excuse me, not polished, but powder coated the gunmetal gray. Coil over shocks right there. It has a Willwood master cylinder, four wheel disc brakes. It has a big brakes in the front, 13 inch rotors, six piston calipers carbon fiber hose section here dual electric cooling fans I'm studying as I'm going along here has a TKO 600 five-speed transmission of course the Kugel uh, rear end in it fully independent rear suspension these hood hinges are custom they're also gunmetal gray like the rest of it all right we want to do a little bit of a segment here with a running for you current miles on it. Still cold. Cool Borla exhaust on it. Center hung muffler. Alright, let's take a look in the trunk here. Just like the interior in the car, Ron Mangus spent the same amount of time dolling out the trunk here. It's finished with uh, German square weave carpet that matches the interior of the car. Custom made panels in the back here. As, uh, in here is the uh, uh, plaque for the 427 limited production number 17 of 427 produced. This is included with the car. Alright, as promised we got it up on the lift here with you to share the undercarriage. This baby's beautiful top to bottom, obviously, and uh, we've talked about that as we did the walk around. Uh, Going to cover everything that we can here. We do have a spec sheet in our hand that uh, we'll post at Spud's Garage on all the chassis components that were put in it. I'm just going to kind of cursory go over. Uh, as I want to start in the back here, though, uh, the exhaust exits out here on the tail on both sides. Very nicely done uh, custom exhaust system with aircraft style connectors ceramic coated the exhaust again is exits out here it has a custom fuel tank and all these body components underside are finished like in a gunmetal gray uh, and the chassis components also the control arms here as we move up uh, you might catch me reading from my spec sheet as I go along here this is a uh, combination spec built with uh, Morrison Art Morrison front and rear clip uh, and Kugel so the Kugel, the suspension in the rear is Kugel rear suspension. It's heavy duty IRS. It has uh, mild steel control arms in the back here. It has quad coilovers. 
again I'll have this spec at Spud's Garage you'll see the inboard disc brakes in the rear here and again everything finished in a gunmetal gray uh, it has uh, drilled slotted rotors on it kind of get you a feel up in there uh, mild steel control arms as we talked about the geometry is right on the money with this one too you'll see how everything is uh, uh, it was all ordered through and delivered to Kugel and Kugel uh, engineered getting this car together as far as that portion goes and getting it dialed in right um, you'll see a lot of uh, plated components polished stainless the floor pans are finished in like a hard uh, lizard skin t style coating that looks like it's been clear coated. So it's the Morrison rear structure, custom fitted and spec built with Morrison and Kugel. I mean the chassis alone, just the back components here, $9,500, $9,400 and then you've got the uh, rear clip package. We're going to go up front too, it has the uh, subframe connectors here that connects the uh, Art Morrison front and rear together and it's components that you purchase through Art Morrison so they're designed for these technically they're called the uh, GT Sport uh, C6 components at least up in the front end they're the, the C6 IFS custom built exhaust system here is just bitching has uh, aircraft style connectors, a single center Borla exhaust it's just got a bitching sound, you've heard it already yourself through the beginning of the video here um, all powder coated chassis, 12 point stainless ARP hardware on everything that I see here. This is an Art Morrison uh, uh, tranny mount, has a uh, T5 5 speed. Again, everything's finished off in uh, gunmetal gray. Custom built uh, uh, exhaust system, like we talked about, anti vibration areas here. These are bung holes for uh, O2 sensors. This is a carbureted for. 427 so it doesn't need O2 sensors wanted that period muscle feel hydraulic clutch scatter shield type bell housing up front here we'll go to the brakes first and you'll see all the braided stainless lines that type of thing and the adjustable coilovers on the front uh, up front it has Willwood front disc brake kit 13 inch drilled and slotted rotors with six piston calipers and they're finished in black and I know on the outside the calipers have ZL1 on them um, the front suspension here is a VET C6 front subframe it has a DSE power rack and pinion steering with 20 to 1 ratio four turns lock to lock we'll get up here and cover the rack for you kinda get you a feel there, I'm going to have to push that uh, jack back here and we'll get a bit of, pretty good feel on the front end it has uh, the VET C6 shock and control arm mount kit, front suspension, that's a fully adjustable uh, Art Morrison uh, part of the uh, items that were purchased, uh, a fully adjustable stabilizer bar, got nice heim joints in it. Up front here, this is a uh, carbon fiber uh, anvil uh, front spoiler, we talked about some of that on the walk around there. but. Pro assembled, just spectacular when it comes to the chassis. And again, you see the gunmetal gray finish on all the suspension components. See the carbon fiber spoiler on the front here. There's a little tiny mark on the front there. We'll go around the outside of the chassis here for you, or the body, while we have it up on the left. We just want to catch every angle. It also has the uh, hard body, body mount kit from Art Morrison. So this baby's stout and tight to the frame. The frame is to the body. Has uh, carbon fiber inner fender wells, the uh, extra size anvil. Um, carbon fiber fender wells here, you kind of get a feel there. Now we've probably already covered that in the engine compartment. Um, you'll see the carbon fiber on the, on the back side there, raw. Again, the five-speed transmission, and again, all a you know twelve-point ARP connectors and stainless hardware up front here. Bottom of the four twenty-seven number seventeen of four hundred twenty-seven built limited edition engines. We'll slide this back. Let me get back here. 
because I want to cover the car from almost every angle for you. This car is just bad to the bone. I want to make sure I cover as much as I can for you. Chassis subframe connectors here that we talked about. Very nice. This car was uh, built and you heard us talk about it in the video a little bit. Uh, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. He has twins, that's the ZL1 2013. Um, black, triple black convertible, same kind of car. Anyway, we'll get around the outside here and cover more for you. It has, uh, let's see the tire size here, 31530 ZR18s in the rear. Kind of give you a feel of the body panels and everything, the view from the outside of the frame rail here. The front tires, and again, uh, they're Michelin's. Uh, 25535 ZR18s in the front. Forgot to cover these vents in the back. I think they're more like cosmetic. They're finished in a gray powder coat too. We know you're getting the idea, this is a very nice car. Top to bottom there's a lot of money in it. Went through several phases of a build. And 235, I guess I already covered that for you. The wheels are finished in a gunmetal gray, just like a lot of the under, un, underside components are. Cover the rockers here. You'll, again, you'll see they used uh, ARP fasteners, 12-point. Uh, Car doesn't have a lot of miles on it. It's a gas to drive. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day.